Hello, Tech World. This is Tech Thoughts. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at an issue you might run into where you're trying to manage a Windows device that's outside of your domain or that is part of a work group. And you may be encountering an error similar to this one where you're getting a, a Kerberos authentication issue where WinRM can't connect. So especially in a home lab scenario where your management device uh, and your host that you're trying to manage are not part of the same domain, or maybe everything in your home lab is part of a work group, or even in production where something is outside of your trusted domain, you may encounter this issue. We're gonna be talking about how to address this using CRED SSP, and I'll be walking through some steps that you need to configure on the host that you're trying to manage, as well as your management device. So let's go ahead and get started. As always, if you prefer written documentation, the corresponding article for this topic can be found on the techthoughts.info blog, which I've linked in the description below. Okay, so by default, uh, when you're doing things like the Hyper-V Manager or other RSAT tools, it's using WinRM behind the scenes, and by default, that wants to use Kerberos authentication. But as you can see here, this Hyper-V server that I have set up is a member of a work group, and so Kerberos is not going to be an option in this scenario. We do have the ability to fall back to CRED SSP, but this won't happen by default without some additional configuration. I'll be walking you through those steps now. So the first thing we're gonna do is make a configuration change to the host itself. And what you wanna make sure is that that configuration for remote management is enabled. If that is not currently enabled uh, through sconfig, what you can do is just run one simple uh, PowerShell command, enable PS remoting, which we'll go ahead and set that up. Uh, with PS remoting enabled, the only thing you need to do is enable uh, WS man create SSP. And the commandlet to do that is going to be enable WS man create SSP in the role of server. And go ahead and click enter and agree. This is all you need to do to your host device that you want to manage uh, over create SSP. Now we'll hop over to our management device and make a couple of configuration changes here. All right, so from our management device, the first thing we're going to want to do is open a local group policy editor uh, through gpedit.msc. With that open, we're going to pop over to, pull this out, administrative templates, system, credentials delegation. Once in here, we're going to be looking for the allow delegating fresh credentials with NTLM only server authentication. We're going to go ahead and double click that, click enabled. And we need to add the host that we're gonna be managing here in this value list once you click the show button. So we're gonna type in wsman and then the name of our actual host. So with that entered, I'll go ahead and click okay and apply. And that's going to allow us to send credentials to that end host device. With that done, we now need to add a couple of lines where we're going to add that end device as a trusted host. So I'm gonna go ahead and set dash item for the WSMAN localhost client trusted hosts and enter the name of the device that I'm going to be managing. And this will add that Hyper-V server to my trusted host on this local management device. Go ahead and say yes. And then the last thing we need to do is enable CRED SSP on the management device in the role of the client. And again, delegating which computer we're gonna be passing those credentials to, which is gonna be type V0. Go ahead and say yes. With these configuration changes made to the local group policy and that server added to our trusted host role, and now we're running CRED SSP in the role of client, we should now be able to right click, connect to server, and connect to our device. We'll connect as another user and provide those credentials that we're gonna be utilizing to connect to that device. There are a couple of caveats with CRED SSP as it's not quite as secure as Kerberos. And I've highlighted some of those limitations on the techthos.info blog. So I suggest that you take a, a review of that prior to using this on a day-to-day -day basis in production, just so you understand some of the caveats that come along with passing credentials directly to the host. If this video was able to help you out, go ahead and click that like button and subscribe for more TechThoughts videos.